Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi A3. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1.4 TFSI S-Line Sportback. So that's a five door. 2011 on a 61 plate. Has done 76,219 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 38.7 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 57.6 miles per gallon. And combined is 48.7 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 9.6 seconds and a top speed of 126 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 123 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Big Audi grill, the nice sporty front spoiler there. Multi spoke alloy wheels, the S line badges on the side, color coded door mirrors, color coded. <laughs> Shut up! Yes! Flipping sheep always have to get the last word in. Colour coded side mouldings uh, protect your doors when you're opening into, or more importantly, other people when they open their doors into yours on the car park. Um, Colour coded door handles, black window surrounds, integrated tailgate spoiler, electric boot release. Rear wash wipe. Um, it's got quite a big boot. The rear seats are split folding 60 40, and then you've got this uh, other thing on here. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but anyway, it's there. So, hard uh, load cover, a bit of a dip into the boot there. So it's quite uh, deceptive. There is plenty of room in there, as you can see, all that stuff in there. <laughs> I cracked my head on, this, on the top here when I got in the first time. That's why I was getting in there very gingerly this time. So it's kind of, uh, it's part leather. Leather in the centre uh, and, and on the side, kind of the, the hard wearing bits on the side where you just saw me get in and scuff across the seat. Um, again, leather here, contrast stitching. Just got to put the rear headrests up if you're um, an adult. And the, the sheep heckling me today. <laughs> They're killers. <laughs> They've been circling around me. Uh, the backs of the seats are, are kind of hollowed out to give you more leg room. Um, I've got my seat forward. Uh, it's not bad for room in the back, to, to be fair. Once I'm in, I've got headroom. It's just getting under here, but you know, mostly you, you, you'd be okay. Um, the brushed aluminium trims on the centre console uh, around the dash, well, more, more like around the glove box and the door cards. And the um, air vents looks looks pretty good, I've got to say. A rear mats. It has belonged to a, a lady, uh, one lady owner. The driver's mat has got the usual stiletto heel hole in it, but the carpet underneath is fine. So bearing in mind, it's it, the car's ten years old. It's uh, it's certainly nice enough. I'll just take you for a ride now. Okay, there's the uh, Audi key. Nice flip out thing. Feels like a proper key, proper ignition. Put on the clutch, start the car. Um, good level of specification in the S line. Height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel there. Uh, we've got height adjustable seat, although that's all the way down. But there we go, height adjustable and uh, backrest here. We have got a front central armrest here, but uh, unfortunately I have nowhere else to put a big bertha here. So uh, let's just jam it like that so it doesn't rattle. The service history. Here we go. 
17th of the 9th, 2014 at 25,376 miles, Audi Manchester. 15th of the 9th, 2016, 50,657 miles, Ladbrook MOT and Service Station. 27th of the 10th, 2018, 62,051 miles, AC Motors. 21st of the 10th, 2020, 72,653 miles, AC Motors again, um, and it's done 76,219 miles, so it uh, doesn't really need servicing, but we will give it a check over, sorted, hopefully. So I've got my armrest, and so long as my travel mug doesn't leak, jobs are good. So these are my my favourite small cars. I prefer these over the you know the small Mercedes and the small BMWs. Uh, they're nice. They're well built. They feel like you're driving a bigger car. That's twenty one plate. Range Rover there. I think I might need to just go a bit further back. One, that's it. That's better. So yeah, the my my favourite um, car, a smaller car anyway, the A1 and the A3. Nice little hatchback or the, the sport back with the the five doors. Um, nice and solid don't get too many problems with them and uh, you know easy enough to service look good I, I just don't get that lady there's all these beautiful fields there's a fell up there and she walks down the road every day there you go wouldn't do for us all to be the same. Nice gearbox instrumentation. It, it's this is a bit like German cars of old. Everything's got a function and uh, nothing too fancy. So say so we've got electric door mirrors. They both work like so. Um, Multifunction steering wheel got voice control on here although I don't know what for um, volume control change channels there you've got rev counter on the left coolant temperature fuel gauge speedo in your speedo you've got your mileometer your odometer and then in the center your information display telling me it's 12 and a half degrees out at the moment which isn't bad at half past eight in the morning, and uh, how long I've been travelling, how many miles I've done, average fuel consumption or fuel economy, average speed, instantaneous miles per gallon. And that, that is a bit useless. It's, it's a manual car and it's telling me what gear I'm in, fair enough. <laughs> got such a bad memory I can't remember um, ashtray at the front or oh, somewhere to keep your coins radio CD now it doesn't have Bluetooth hands free or audio streaming but that's not a problem anymore um, you know, in the old days, in the old, well, not that old, just a, a couple of years ago, you'd end up buying a parent system and they'd have to take your radio out, put all the wiring at the back and then a microphone up here and, and then another control to answer the phone and, and so on. But um, we've, uh, a firm called Palaview sent me uh, a couple of um, accessories one is a, a tiny, just a lead, 
which plugs into your auxiliary um, and, you, and USB or a charger and you pair it to your phone it takes seconds to pair and it's uh, it then you, you can play uh, music through your stereo and you can answer telephone calls or, or make telephone calls uh, using Siri of course no, nothing uh, still can't touch your phone and I'm pretty sure that's not my mobile phone I'm touching by the way it's a cable but that that's the thing that enables it so as I say don't let the fact it's not got Bluetooth hands-free put you off that's 16 quid and the other one which you can skip tracks on you on your music it's got a microphone built in that's 49 quid so that's a, a problem overcome these days for very little cost a lot less than uh, three points on your license and a 600 quid fine and you can work everything you, you know just using Siri so so the CD radio there your climate control here and the climate control switches they're the ones that um, were uh, easy to use before they went onto the new system there's a switch there you turn your heat up and down there's a fan switch, a plus and minus, and, and all you can get from muscle memory. You, you don't have to take your eyes off the road. As I say, before they went onto this silly system of pressing a button to get a display up and then turning another knob, just, just crazy to me. They got a, a little rattle here, but it's. Uh, it's to do with my uh, my cup, unfortunately. It's more a squeak than a rattle. A little uh, little petrol engine. If you don't want a diesel, or you don't do enough miles to warrant a diesel and you're worried about DPF filters and things like that, then this is uh, the thing, it's a small five door, premium color white these days. Nice and nippy, good fuel economy. I should have looked at the road tax before I came out, but I forgot. Nice light clutch. Good steering. That's uh, that. <laughs> That's just. Uh, throwing me out with having my elbow up there. I'm used to having it further down and just, I'm gonna to have to do something with this cup um, because it's uh, it's messing with my mojo when I'm driving. As soon as I can pull up safely, I'm gonna move it. Because it's an enjoyable car to drive, but uh, I'm making hard work of it. Just put it in the boot. <coughs> there we go, that's out of the way. And one of the other things that was making the noise, of course, was the cigarette lighter there. We just got in there. Uh, like the pheasant across the road. 
There we go, that's a lot better. And uh, and I'm just I'm just right now, just comfortable. So if you're looking for a second car, this would be ideal. Be ideal for a first car if you uh, live in a town or city. Just short journeys and so on, but the odd motorway, no problem at all. aluminium insets there is in the uh, gear tunnel just the handles of the glove box and then your uh, insets on the door cards here your electric windows the four electric windows are just here along with the electric mirror switch this is your global locking your headlights are down here by the side and then here we've got the your four vents Steering is very, very precise. Nice to drive. Another car really that makes you want to drive too fast. So I've got the S-Line embossed leather, <laughs> S-Line on the steering wheel, S-Line on the, the, the front wings and also on the aluminium scuff plates as you're getting in the car. Proper handbrake. We can't half run them. <coughs> Oh, 
Wow. That's a stubborn one. Oh, blimey, it's, uh, I've just remembered it's August, isn't it? The uh, start of the shooting season, I think, very shortly. Is it the glorious 12? Not so uh, glorious for the pheasants, though. Driver who can see ahead, or can see ahead and actually takes notice. So there you go. I think I'll uh, I'll finish the test drive here. Um, it, it is a uh, what's what, what's the word I'm looking for? A functional car. Flipping sheep always have to get the last word in.